Now, first things first, well, how do we actually learn? We need neuroplasticity to happen. So neuroplasticity is the scientific term that essentially means our brain's ability to physically change in response to experience. So when we're learning something, whether it's learning information or um, you know, learning a skill, tiny little connections called synapses form between neighbouring neurons in the brain. And the more we do that thing, whether it's information or a skill, the more robust those connections become and the better we get at doing whatever it is. Now, what you're looking at here are two neurons that I filmed in a Petri dish connecting. Actually, this was a Petri dish that I was about to throw away, but I could see that they're about to connect, so I quickly took this video. Now, these incredible hand-like structures here are called growth cones, and every neuron has one. They actively sense the environment around, and they help each and every one of the 86 billion neurons in your brain find the correct place to connect to. So, for example, from here to here or here to here. And this isn't learning, this doesn't represent learning. What it represents is how our brain wires itself during development. Now, when things go wrong with that wiring process, or when it doesn't happen in the usual way, you can end up with things like issues with learning and memory. Now, kids are a little bit like sponges, right? They just seem to need to be exposed to stuff and they seem to, to remember it. You know, languages, skills, you know, sports, whatever it is, the learning just happens really quickly. Now, have you ever met someone who's incredibly talented and you just thought, okay, they must, be, they must have some magic thing about them that the rest of us don't have? Well, what if I told you that that's probably not true? It mostly comes down to practice, perseverance, and when in development they started learning that skill. So the earlier, the better. And people like Serena Williams and Beethoven, they weren't born with their skills. They practised and they all actually started by age five. So really our ability to learn kind of goes downhill after age five. <laughs> but it, it, it certainly gets harder through, through our childhood, through our teens, and once we hit our mid-twenties, it gets exponentially harder to learn. But the good news is, is I'm going to tell you what you can actually do about it because there are things you can do. You can use attention, alertness, sleep, repetition, breaks and mistakes to make your learning better.